Okay. <coughs> okay, 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 I'm here, I'm here. Chill out. Relax. How's it going? How's it hanging? It's Friday. It's Saturday. I think it's Saturday. I don't know. Saturday. Uh. One PM Eastern. Got my gamer juice. It is ready to game. There we go. Oh, yeah. <sighs> what? What's wrong with my hair? I don't think there's anything wrong with my hair, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. That, that, that part was a little weird, but the rest of it's fine. Probably fine. Anyway, it is Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, it's time to play more Oblivion. Got this weird flump going on the mirror right now. Ugh, don't like it. Don't like it. Anyway, video games. Video games. Video games. If I can find it. There's my video games. All right, gamers. <clears throat> video games time. Did I already show you guys this? Hold on. Hold on. I need, I need to ask you a question. Uh, did I already show you guys this? Did I already show you guys this? I did? Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys this already. I wanted to make sure I showed you that. All right. Get this game going. Ah. Put it in the corner of 50% transparency. Hold on. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Hold on. Tell me this frog work for me. This isn't working. Gamers, this frog needs my help. Hold on. There we go. Mm. Right down here. Oops, hold on, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. There he is. Hold on, he's not trans he's not the right transparent level. Perfect. Okay, he's there. Don't worry. Good, good use of the beginning of our stream. Anyway, play some games. All right. Last we left off, there was there was um, I think there was pirates on a boat, and they chased us, and also um, we stole something, and we should probably go talk to what's her name. Uh, Screva, I think. But first, where the fuck is Gex? Gex, are you still in here? Oh, there you are. What are you doing in there? Come on. 
What? What? Okay, Gax is here. All right, let's see. Where does Screva live again? Um, she's in in Brazil, right? Wait, why is there a quest marker here? Why is there a quest marker? What? Hold on. Why is there a quest marker here? My active quest is just a. No, it doesn't matter. Let's go to the. Say, to the <clears throat> let's go to the. Let's go to Brazil and see Scriva. Here we go. Alright! So tiresome. What's tiresome is these people who keep leaving their horses abandoned on this bridge. Poor guy, look at him. Him and his weird, inhuman eyes. It must be sad. It must be a sad Hurry life up. he lives. Right. Oh. I am most certainly not in the vicinity of Kansas anymore. Gex is really into this bread. Hey, Scriva. You are a credit <coughs> to the guild. Yes. Okay. So, special jobs. I have no more jobs for a thief of your skill. You have no need of the Doyen to provide you work. However, <clears throat> there are rumors that the Grey Fox himself may call on you soon. What? Wait for contact from him. Keep the guild fences busy. Weirdo. Anyway, um... Shadow hide you. There was a quest I wanted to follow up on that we never got around to. Let's see if I can find it. That we had we had found somebody's twin brother. And I would love to just go through my little journal here, alphabetically, and find the quest. But unfortunately, Todd decided that you don't need to do that. And that alphabets are for losers. You can read and write. And not for true gamers. And then what can you do? Oh, this is a completed quest. Hold on. Current quests. Okay. Oil service, journal. There we go. Coral. Choral. However you want to pronounce the, the dumb thing. Let's go there and find them. We've been putting it off. Gax, leave that horse alone! He's minding his own business. And he's abandoned, and he's very sad. Okay, let's see. Choral. Where is Choral? Coral. What a dumb name! God. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can find this guy's twin brother. What are you doing? Warrior? Hail. Have you ever been interested in joining the Mages Guild? No, I haven't. I never really thought about it. They just didn't seem like the sort of folks I wanted to spend time with. Imagine being an NPC in a Todd video game, living in a town with the Speed Tree logo <clears throat> as your emblem. Having an empty brain and just talking about the Mages Guild all day. But never actually saying anything of substance. You may speak. Must be great. Alright. I believe they were at a bar. Let's see if we can't find a bar. Hold on. Maybe the, I didn't even look at this building. I understand Daedra worship has become increasingly prevalent. There's a bar. Oh man, my eyes are itchy! Shit! Ah! Ah, fuck. Why did I make the quest my active quest? Oh god damn it. Whenever I scroll like this, it's scrolling the chat. Ah. I don't have to fix the chat. There we go. Hello there. I see you are ja, a of the ja. gray fox too. I am the gecko. What's going on with you? I knew Roswell would open up a casino. Farewell. Hi there. This guy just looks like he's the dumbest and happiest human being in this whole game. I'm listening. Go ahead. Alright, let's see. Oh! 
They were in a significantly shittier inn with a significant, significantly shittier horse. Hey, Roll Krug, thanks for subscribing. Hurry up before I change my mind. Oh, after they speak, I should speak to Gilbert. Hello. You haven't seen my son. I can't believe I've been reunited with my brothers to fight those monsters, and I can't thank you enough for helping to reunite me with Reynold. I never would have guessed he was still alive. We have much to discuss, but if you have time, I'd beg you to stay a moment longer and hear about our home, Weatherly. Weatherly. Thank you so much for reuniting me with my brother. I never believed I would ever see him again. I'm so emotionally overcome, I don't know what to do. Uh, Weatherly? Weatherly was our family's home for generations. Our parents fled it when ogres attacked. They became separated. My father carried me to safety. He later returned and believed Reynold and my mother had perished. Since ogres are cannibals, he didn't expect to find their bodies. Wait. Thankfully, however, it seems that my mother managed to carry Reynold to safety. Wait a second. While my mother didn't survive, Reynold did. And for that I'm grateful. But we both want more. Ogres are cannibals, is what he just said. Cannibalism is when one species eats their same species. A human eating a human is cannibalism. A pig eating bacon is cannibalism. An ogre eating a human is not cannibalism. I don't think this man is as smart as he thinks he is. We're not fighters. You appear to have more skill than either of us. Would you go to Weatherly and see if it's still inhabited by ogres? Okay. I will do it. Thank you. Now, we're not quite sure where the estate is located. We'll offer up what we know, however. We believe it's somewhere south of Coral, but north of Fort Kamala. It may be difficult to find. I'll go have a look. Since no one's lived there for many years, it may be quite overgrown by now. If you find it, let us know. <laughs> We'll be waiting anxiously. Sure, sure, Glowy. <clears throat> Wait, he's not Glowy. I'm just wearing a ring. Careful. He wasn't Glowy at all. What dangers may lurk in the Great Forest. So what about your stinky brother here? Gilbert should be able to help you with anything you need. For now, I'm going to celebrate. Okay. What a weirdo. Boys, excuse me. Jesus. Go ahead. By what right Make do you my disturb me? There's a fucking like lizard you here. My sons, have you? And, and, and these guys are interested in, in the fucking wood elf. They're staring at me. Everyone is staring at me. This sucks. Leave me alone. Like you never saw an elf before. Fucking losers. Okay. So he said south of here. So let's see. Uh, let's just go south and see what we can find. This is going to be one expensive Easter egg hunt. Gex doesn't have... <clears throat> Gex doesn't think we're gonna have an easy time finding this place. How much one? But it's like right over the hill. These guys just never bothered looking. Like they just never bothered looking over. In fact, how much one? But it's that. No, let's not even check. No, I'm gonna check. It's not this. But I'm gonna check anyway. Oh, it's Wayden Priory. You think those corpses are still out here? Yep! It's <laughs> still here! Hey, Briar Mabberall, how's it been? How's how's the wife and kids? Cool. Oh, Lord. Alright, let's see. I already forgot. Okay, Weatherly. That's, that's what it's called. I about to say I already forgot the name of the place. Is this Weatherly? Is it right here on this hill? No, no, no. Gamers, I don't think this is weatherly. Ah. Ah. Uh, let's see. As if this torch is gonna help me see anything. Come on. Gex three sixteen, say I just kicked your tail. Okay, Gex. Oh, oh boy. 
kind of want to ragdoll down here. In fact, hold on. Is there a console command for Todd's game that'll just let me ragdoll? Let's see. Um... If, if I'm able to mod my fatigue below zero, that should work, so hold on. Let me look up what the commands. I know how to do it in Morrowind, but Oblivion's a little stinky asshole about it, so hold on. That actor value set ghost. It's a set unconscious, but I don't think that does what I need it to. Nope, that does not do it. Base value mod actor for the player. This will not modify base health. Base health is blah blah blah. I don't want that. Let's see. God, why is it gonna be so difficult? Health. Reset health. That's not what I want. This was so easy in Morrowind. In Morrowind, you would just do mod, like mod fatigue, like minus a quadrillion, and you'd be fine. Set faction rank, set ghost, set level. Set actor value. This used to be so easy. Hold on, we're in script. Um... Lower current health. It's like Todd specifically wanted them to take what worked and make it as difficult as possible. Like, seriously, it's kind of silly. Hmm. This, water walking, what is this? Todd, why? Todd, why? How do you change the current health? Current health. Like, I don't want to raise the overall health. This is so dumb. This is so idiotic. Idiotic? Idiotic. You know what you had in Morrowind? A command literally called set current health. What don't they have in Oblivion? That command. Uh. Kind of silly. Can I tell you about something I really hate? You know when, when you're doing a Google search? You type in exactly what you want, and you start getting results, like, on the very first page, within the first five or so results. Hold on. Uh, 
You're going out. Sorry about that, gamers. My <coughs> sink goes <coughs> going out. <clears throat> anyway, what I was saying, Google. You're trying to Google something, right? You, you type in exactly what you want, exactly the terms you want. Then suddenly, within the first five results, within like the first five results, you get a result that says like missing. The, word included in your in your search term and in fact in fact let me just show you and like because because i feel like i'm i'm talking crazy words right now let me, let me just show you yep no fuck you get bent fuck you fuck off fuck you fuck you get bent gamers i gotta go look at whatever she's talking about i'll be right back <clears throat> oh boy gamers what a stream huh what a stream what a great st i'm the master streamer it's like i can't understand why why my average viewers doesn't go above 20. i just can't i'm pretty much the best streamer in the whole world it's kind of crazy it's kind of nuts anyway so i was saying like you're searching for something on google right searching for something on google you put in the terms you want. You put them right in up there. Right in up there, right? And then you start getting results. And then suddenly, within the first few results, you get this shit. You get, you get this shit. Missing fatigue. If the result doesn't include all the words I was searching for, why are you showing it to me in the first fucking page? What the fuck? Save that for like page uh, 73 or something. Save that for after you run out of the results that are actually relevant to what I'm trying to fucking do. Fuck. Like, it's not... Uh, is that like a, a stupid concept? Like, it seems pretty straightforward to me. If I search for something, show me the results and match what I'm searching for first before you give me the bullshit that has nothing to do with it. <sighs> okay. Okay. Cinco just went out and now the cat's meowing. I think the cat misses her. Said heavy fatigue. Well, okay, here's the thing, should go. I'm looking at that. And the problem is the documentation for that is very unclear as to if it sets the maximum fatigue or the current fatigue. Because from what I can see, I think it's just setting the, the maximum fatigue. Which isn't what we want. We want to set the current fatigue. You know what I mean? And it's like, it was so easy in Morrowind. It was so easy in Morrowind. Why did Todd have to take that, shove it up his butt, poop it out, and, and throw it in the garbage for oblivion? Why? Okay, I'm going to do a search here. Let's see. That actor value, mod actor value. I just heard my cat go meow and then there was a noise. Let me go look at him.
Oh boy. This is this is this might be my I thought yesterday's stream was bad. This but this might be this might be worse than yesterday's stream. I'm not gonna lie. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, let's 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 read this. Okay, mod actor value. Uh, mod actor value modifies the stat by the specified value without affecting the base value of the stat. That's what we need. That's what we need. Okay, so what are the act? Okay. Okay, okay, here we go. So, if we do player.mod actor value fatigue, then we should be able to do something. We should be able to do something. Let's see. First... Let's see what it is. Our fatigue is 257. So player dot mod AV fatigue minus 600. Well, we ragdolled, but we didn't really go anywhere. Try this again. All that work for this. It'll be worth it! Hey, forget about it. Fuck you, Gax. We're doing this. Whoa. God damn it, Todd. You and your floaty ass ragdolls. How much you want to bet when they fucking like mashed the Havoc engine into, into Morrowind when they made this game? They had no idea what the fuck they were doing. And they just kept default values for everything. And that's why we float like a feather when you ragdoll. Like what's momentum? I don't know. My name's Todd Howard. All my all my my little coder boys do everything for me. Such realism. So incredible. The best game on the whole Xbox 360. I'm so glad we wasted like 20 minutes doing this. Ugh. Fuck. We got it done, but the result was the worst thing ever. Didn't they say it was between Fort Karmala and what's it? Hold on. South of Coral. Uh, they said something about Fort Karmala, so let's just look north of here. Also, we should probably not wait while there's enemies nearby. There we go. Just getting my kicks, darling. Ah, this rock must be weatherly. What's not? Uh, is that a bunch of rocks? That is a bunch of rocks. You know, if, if weatherly was so cool, why don't they know what it is? Like, you think if it was that important to them, they would have found it before they talked to me. Oh. What happened to my bind? My bind for my ring. Oh, my ring. My bow disappeared. Hold on. Easy. Oh, sorry, Gax. Okay, we're good. Alright. Let's just get up here and have a quick look around. If we don't see Weatherly, then fuck Weatherly. We'll do another quest while we're waiting for their Gray Fox and count my dick. Uh, I just see a bunch of trees and stuff. And a Minotaur. 
Fuck Weatherly. Okay. We had some other quests. Someone's husband is missing, who cares? Uh, loser quest for idiots. Mage is killed in Leowin. Find tears. No, that's good. I'm fine. Prophet outside of Anvil? No. It's art. The arena. Real arena. There seems fun. Level 17. What level are we? What level? Let's go do this! Let's go find- let's go talk to Hearsene. That could be fun. Hey, where is he? Hearsene Shrine. Okay. Uh, okay, let's get back to the gates. Fast travel to, um... Reville. And, uh... See if we can't talk to Hearsene. That seems like a good use of our time. I found the pillage mine. It's here. Okay. Is that a gate, or is that just a really shitty rendered wall? That was a really shitty rendered wall. Okay. No worries. Look, I'm as graceful as a doe. Wow, we. Gex wishes he could hop like I do. He wishes. Leave me alone. No. Okay, here we go. Um, Imperial City is technically closer, I think. But it's gonna be easier to get there from Breville. Let's go here. And then we'll pop off north. Gex, hello, quit chewing. Hello. Quit chewing your cud. It's tail time! Alright. Here's scene shit. Didn't I make that my active quest? I guess I didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, wolf or bear pelt. Oh, shit. Forgot about that. Uh, do we have that? We do. Okay, good. So it's north of here. We should be able to see it. Don't look like a big, a big stash of here scene, right? How hard could it be to find that? My acrobatics increased. What is that? Is that a druid? Not a druid, a dryad. So this is Never Never Land. You'd never guess it from the outside. Okay, I. Old. Damn it! Cold blood, cold dragon, bad combination. Wax on, wax off. Are you dead? Wait, why are you still alive? Excuse me, Jesus. Jesus! Alright, um, I think I ran out of arrows. There we go. With a level six, you get aggro. Thank you. Thank you for your casual racism, Gex. Everyone appreciates you. Alright, let's see. Right north up here. I have a magical effect on me? What is this? Oh. Sorry, the cat ran in to be a fucking lunatic. Don't worry about him. It'd be cool if I knew what these symbols at the bottom of the screen meant. Because so far I see funny eye, some arrows, a hand, a head, and no skulls allowed. Todd, I don't know what this shit means. Anyway, my luck is being drained. No, don't buy any lotto tickets. We'll be fine.
All right. Didn't be too much further. It's a beautiful day with all the fire coming out. What more could you ask for? What more could you want? Is that them? No, why I'm asking. I have a map. No, I'm looking the completely wrong direction. In fact, I'm nowhere near them. Ah. No more funny spriggans. I'm busy. What are you fighting? Lucky punk. What are you fighting? Oh. A minotaur and a, Is that a unicorn?! What the fuck?! Todd, why are unicorns trying to kill me?! Go! Oh, oh god! Oh shit! Go away! <laughs> fuck! Oh my- No! Go! Go! Leave! Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Fuck off! Why is there a unicorn? <laughs> no! Shit! He's after me! Oh my god! <laughs> He's insane! Why is there a unicorn? <laughs> Why is there a bloodthirsty unicorn? I thought horses were nice boys! Oh no! This gets worse by the minute! Who's this fucker? Who are you? Help me! Make it fast, Dreg. What little patience I have is wearing thin. Why doesn't your hair match your eyebrows? I'm in trouble! Farewell, citizen. What's happening? Are you helping me or not? Okay, I think he's distracting him. Gex, stop! Stop that! Stop! Cut it out! We have to use this distraction to our advantage! Oh, God. Well... Fuck! <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Wait! I know just what we need in this situation. Skooma. We just drank all the skooma. Here we go! Try to keep up with me now, idiot! Moron! Like to see you keep up with this? Loser! Eat my dust! Dust eater! Man, Mercy might have had a little too much skooma. <laughs> okay. You know, Gex, in order to avoid any potential unicorn goring- Whoa, Lord Macarius! Mmm, thanks for all those gift subs. Neat. Neat and cool at the same time. Holy moly. They're all here. Alright, gamers, here's the plan. In order- This level looks like a friggin' fugazi. Okay, Gex. In order to avoid any potential unicorn gorings, Let's stick to the road this time around. <laughs> Seems like a much safer way to get where we're trying to go. You know? Like, maybe we don't have to take a shortcut full of rabid unicorns. It might be for the best. Might be for the best. All this fancy stuff and no TV? Savages. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, there we go. See? A minotaur I can handle. A unicorn? Absolutely not. Dude, I don't think this minotaur can even see me. Do cows have, like, really bad eyesight? 
Because that would explain. That would explain this. Oh god damn it. Let's get it on. Macarius. Macarius. Macar. Okay, I'll try to remember that, but I'm very, very stupid. Oh boy. Careful. Thanks for all the help, Gex. All that shit. Minotaur horn. And a single bone. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Let's get some cards and play magic. No, Gex, we're on a quest. We're on a very important quest. In fact, I should probably heal up real quick. That was frightening. I was just thinking to myself that this would be a great place to ride a bicycle in, and I'm not even a bike person. I, in fact, I hate, I fucking hate cyclists. But that got me thinking. How come they haven't ever, ever added, like, a bicycle to Fallout? Like, it would make sense to have that. It's something you could build out of metal in a post-apocalypse. It would help for, you know, getting around. Why has there never been bicycles in Fallout? Someone yell cut. Oil? I don't think you need oil to build a bike, do you? Where do I put the oil in my bike? Hey, Gex, can you get up? Thanks, Gex. I need oil? You need to oil the chain. Oh. See, I don't know how that works. Well, here's the thing. It's a post-apocalypse bike. Do you really need to oil it? Like, can't you just get get by with a dry chain? Like, I think you could make some concessions when the world ends, you know? The chain needs to move. It will not move. What are you, Larry King's barber? Ha <laughs> you're all right. I feel like if, if you made the chain in a, you know, certain way, it, would, it wouldn't rely on oil that much, you know? Like, I don't know. I feel like there, there should be a way to do it. In a post-apocalyptic situation, there should be a way to build a more, a more, you know, survivalist kind of bike, you know? Look, 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 all I'm saying, okay, all I'm saying is, in my head... Okay, look, chain. Chain, right? Let me, get, let me take this chain off. Okay, you got a chain. You have a chain, right? There's no oil on my chain. I, I can just kind of, like, you know, move it around. You know? So I figure, like, in a post-apocalypse... Is it really important how, how how greasy your chain is? Like, I feel like you could get by with whatever you got, you know? Like, is it really so vital that the chain is oiled? Wear and tear. Of course, wear and tear is a thing, but everything's falling apart in in the in in the post apocalypse, you know? Everything's falling apart. The guns are falling apart. You think they're oiling their guns in Fallout? I don't think they are. So I don't know. I don't know. In my mind, I don't think oil would be the big, um, the big limiter to them having bicycles. The fuck is that? Cold oh blood, right. Cold weather, bad combination. The dryads and shit. Oh god, this guy's in trouble. <laughs> the might of the ah! Am I supposed to be impressed? Uh... Hold on. Is there something I can do to help this guy? Uh, let's see. Also, Gex is not supposed to be talking about gold, cold weather right now, and I'm not sure what's triggering him to do that, so I'm gonna blame Todd. I don't have any scrolls of summoning anything. I'm helping!
Why'd they stop? Why aren't they moving? Why have they stopped? Oh, okay, they're back. I don't know why they stopped! That's a little concerning. Also, god damn, Todd! Someone needs to sit down with you and talk to you about level scaling. Because this is not how it should work. Okay, one down, and I'm, like, all my arrows are dead. Let's see. Guess I can use elven arrows. Where's the other ones? Also, wasn't there a guy? Where'd everyone go? There was a second... Oh. Uh-oh. That's true. I could do that. Here's the thing. When I when I set Gex up, I did check a box in his thing for, uh, what do you call it? Level scaling? So theoretically, Gex should be scaling to some extent with us. But... But I also don't really understand how that works. So it might not be scaling at all, or in a reasonable way. Like, it could just be fucked. I mean... You can't see it because I'm in the way, but it says... No, I'm still in the way, hold on. It, it says, hold on. Yeah, the way. It says... It says... Mingo Cave. Mingo. Mingo. Okay, where was I going again? Uh, north? Yep, still north. Alright. This is for all the angels in heaven. Oh, it's just a bear. Uh, okay, I'm just- I'm just glad it's not another fucking... <clears throat> what do you call those guys? Not Dryad, they have a different name in, in Elder Scrolls. But it doesn't matter. Hey, give me back my arrows! Spriggan, there you go. Ah, here we go, we found it. Alright. Hey, I have your thing. Offer bear pelt. I, I feel like what just happened there is Gex heard the ridiculous <laughs> voice and decided to make fun of it. <laughs> Summoned by the prey. <laughs> you can't eat your pudding if you don't have your meat! God damn it, Gex. Perhaps I should ask you, mortal, sent you to hunt for my amusement. In Arcane Grove is a quarry worthy of the chase. First tamed, last tamed. The unicorn. Wait, what? Bring me this creature's own mortal. Wait, what? This whole time that unicorn was part of this quest. And I'm supposed to hunt it down. Oh, come on! You told me? I. Excuse me if I wasn't reading the chat while I was screeching and running from a deadly unicorn. Get a tetanus. Guys, when I'm running away from a bloodthirsty unicorn, I'm not focusing on, on, on reading the chat. It, it, that doesn't work. Anyway, if we have to hunt a unicorn, let's, let's see if we can't. Our bow is an okay shape. These elfin... Arrows do 10 damage. The ebony arrows do 12. We only have three of them. These arrows of harm do some light damage, but... I guess we can hit them with it a bit. What does Shadow Hunt do? It has, like, no charges, though. It's not important. I guess I can start with a few arrows of harm, and then hit them with the rest. 
Alright, gamers. It's time to hunt this unicorn. Should have focused on fighting the unicorn. There was also a minotaur chasing us. That's one small step for Gex. And, you know, when there's a minotaur and a unicorn chasing you, it's a little hard to get shit done. <clears throat> gamers, I'm really upset that I drank all my gamer juice already. I feel like I, I just started and it's already gone. A minotaur. I think it is. Switch to our less deadly arrows. Move over, Argonauts. Here come the Gexonauts. All right, stop, stop moving. Stop walking, please. Damn it! Stop! 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 Stop moving! Please, Todd doesn't let you uncock your arrows in this game. Got it. Oh. Oh, William, please. Give me a sponge bath. You know what? If we're gonna fight a unicorn, and we just had the little level up da -da 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 thing happen, we should probably level up. Just so we can get at least something of an advantage. But hold on, let's take care of this fucker. There we go. Let's we'll see if we can recover some arrows, and then... No, I say that, but what if the unicorn is, like, right, literally right down? It is. Okay. You know what? Let's not risk that. Let, let's go level up. Um... In fact, let's go to the, let's go to the Imperial City to level up. It's gonna be the closest thing, and we can't fast travel if we're not at a town gate. That's the house rule. We may not fast travel if we're not at a town gate. House rules. Can't break them. Sorry. Colonel Panic, I do agree that water is quite the delicious treat for me to eat, but... <clears throat> sometimes you get the craving for, for the sweet stuff. And then what can you do? And also, for someone with... Oh, I was about to say, for someone with such high athletics, I'm moving really slowly. I'm crouched down. I'm being a little sneaker. Mm, I always thought it was kind of weird how in Morrowind you could sleep anywhere, but in Oblivion you can only wait. But at the end of the day, one, it doesn't matter, because waiting still restores your health in this game. And two, I guess I agree with giving giving inns in, inside of towns a reason to exist. But honestly, I'm fine with that change. Makes sense to me. Gex is busy back there, don't worry about him, he's a big boy, he can take care of himself. He had three whole games all to himself. Alright, this ain't his first rodeo. What the fuck is that over there? A skeleton? Why are there skeletons? Oh, hey Gex. Why are there skeletons here? The fuck? Oh, it's a goblin! It just looks like a skeleton from on TV. <laughs> skeleton. God damn it. It's still hit. Oh, oh. And now, in Todd's infinite wisdom, you cannot un... unpull your arrow. So, go fuck yourself. There we go. This for the 60s, I'd run and hide. Of course, I'd have sideburns and bell bottoms. Ooh, lockpick. Don't mind if I do. Uh, where's the other one? There you are, buddy. Dwarven bow, okay. Ooh, and a dwarven shield. Gex! Good old buddy who carries things for me. Alright. Somebody's gotta do it. 
All right, let's see. Take the extra dwarven. Where is it? Turn bow. And then there was a shield. There we go. All right, waterfront's right here. Does Gex have unlimited carry weight? Um. Yeah, he does. Gex, what are you doing? Gex, there's nothing here. Oh, Gex, that's just a mud crab. Gex, Gex, pathfind, do it. Good job. Who gave me the information about it being Mexico? Oh, um, odd. Like, I only live a few minutes from, uh, Bethesda headquarters, so I just drove over there and, you know, popped in for lunch with Todd, and he, you know, we talked about the Elder Scrolls Six, and he gave me some of the details, so. You know. I thought it was kind of weird. You know, kind of an odd choice. But, you know, the more we talked about it, the more it made sense, and I think he's, I think he's gonna do a good job with it. You know? But I think I, th I, wish I, didn't have all that cough syrup. I think he knows what he's doing. I think he knows what he's doing. My children are starving. Please help. His head is shaped like an almond. We sleep here. Have pity on an old war veteran. We sleep here. And remember, what can kids, I do for never buy a marmalade from. Well, all right, bad. Here we go. There's a room, all right, and a fine room it is. Ten gold. Yours for the night. That's a bargain. A wise choice indeed. You've never had a night's rest like this, I assure you. The room is down below deck. It's the door on the left. He advertises it as a massaging mattress, and you lay on it, and you feel it massaging you. But then you realize it's not plugged into anything, and it turns out they have a worker, like, inside of the mattress, and they just massage you while you sleep. I can get a bottle of skooma for that. Ooh. Sounds Farewell. good. Okay, where am I? Right, downstairs. Is this downstairs? No. This is downstairs. Here we go. <laughs> oh, storage room. We're not sleeping in the storage room, Gex. Come on! Get with it! There we go. Gex. Gex. No, Gex, you don't understand. Jimmy Hoffa, white courtesy phone. Jimmy Hoffa. Gex, I paid for the room, not you. I paid for the room. You didn't you didn't add a, a penny to the fund. You sleep out there. Alright. Oh, it's got a good eight hours. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and eleven, twelve. After like fifteen, I want to wake up when the sun's coming up. All right, so strength always good to have. We don't need intelligence, willpower, regenerate magicka, fatigue, or any none of that. Endurance sounds good, and luck. Seems like a good mix. I've awakened to find that the bloated float has somehow put... Has somehow... I'm awakened to find that the bloated float has somehow put to sea with myself on board. That's a very awkward sentence. Uh, okay. Dex? Dex, who is that? Yep. We're floating. Gex, did you have something to do with this? I guess we have to abandon ship. Let's go. Excuse me. Hey, who in oblivion are you? You don't look like one of the Blackwater brigands. I'm not. Um, I'm just a passenger. What? I was told there are only two others on board. I locked the bouncer in the storage room. Why'd you do that? The owner. So that leaves you. Why'd you do that? Now I'll ask again. Who are you? Um, I'm a I'm a member of your gang. There's no one else in our group except the four of us. 
The Blackwater Brigands don't just take on new members out of the clear blue sky. Uh-oh. When we formed the Brigands three months ago, <coughs> I was told no more than a four-way split on all the profits. So stop telling lies and tell me what you're doing here. Oh, right, you should have. <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you because um, my haircut is better than yours. Then perhaps my sword can find the words that your mouth cannot. Is this a sexual thing? This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. Ah! Ah! Oh. Gex, help me, you fuck! Gex, you're not helping! Damn it, Gex! Absorbing my arrows? I've killed a thief named Lunch. Apparently, he's a member of some group called the Blackwater Brigands. They must have hijacked a bloating float and put her out to sea. It appears that blah 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 is the bouncer in the storage room. Ebony Longsword? Ahamana, hamana, hamana, hamana. Prepare to abandon ship. Oh, that's nice that you just say, uh, Macarius. Hello there, my secret friend. Radio Free Iraq, signing off. Leather, leather, why is that so expensive for a leather curus? Lynch's instructions. Okay, hold on. Meet Gex Gecko. First, Gex, take the shit. Take the shit from me. Uh, Ebony, Ebony, Ebony. No follow alert? No, I don't do follow alerts. Anyone can follow. I have 5,000 followers and only 40 viewers. So, what's it matter? Followers don't mean nothing. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, right, I picked up a note. Lynch's instructions. Here we go. Okay. Lynch, your instructions are to make your way to the bottom of the deck and secure all of the rooms. Make sure you don't disturb Minx. Minx? She's to be left alone to do her assignment. Remember, after the ship is scuttled, we'll meet back in Breville in three days. Make sure you destroy this note after you memorize it. Well, he must have been having a lot of trouble memorizing that one. Poor guy. Hey, Gex, let's take a nap. Sleepy boy. Hey, Colonel Panic. Thanks for subscribing. Well, I mean, since we're in a predicament here, we might as well poke around a bit, you know. No harm. It's not like they need this right now. I feel silly. Oh, calm down, Gex. Well, I'll be joining the new Brain Poison app, Blue Sky. I'm already on there. The problem is there's... I've not been able to find anyone interesting on there. So all I have to look at is the popular tweet... Tweets. Popular... Posts section and that's not full of nothing but boring 30 year olds and it's like yeah it's gonna be a while before this app is of any use about time someone showed up hello thank you for freeing me I'm Gram and Gramara the bloated floats bouncer and helmsman I've been locked in that storage room for hours. Why didn't you open the door? You're an orc. I don't know exactly what's going on. But not long ago, a gang of thieves calling themselves the Blackwater Brigands stormed the You're ship. a big fucking orc. Why didn't you they just, like, squeeze them? Normal, the float's owner, hostage, and put the ship to sea. I have no idea what they're after. Probably, you know. If you can get me safely to the top deck, I the can free steal hotel. the hotel. home. Free hotel towels. Until the coast is clear. I mean, you're floating in, so... With drunken louts, not a gang of well -armed thieves. You're floating hotel, so clearly you have tons of valuable free <clears throat> hotel towels, so that's clearly what they're here for. Colonel Panic, I'm not a boring 30-year-old. I'm a weird 30-year-old. It's different. These people, these people I've seen so far... Good luck. You'll need it. Their shit puts me to sleep. <clears throat> I'm 
So I'm so I'm, I'm waiting to see. Waiting to see. Uh. I'm waiting to see when when the cool people show up. I I was just trying to pull it up. I was just trying to pull up Blue Sky, so you can see. <clears throat> see my cool tweets, but I I just realized I don't know how to do that on my computer. I don't know how I can show it to you on my phone. Here. Here this is a quote-unquote tweet that I have one like on. Let me show you my, my great tweet. My real great tweet. My real great tweet. Here we go. You like it? You like it? Isn't it great? Oh, you can't see it? Oh, you can't see it. Oh, you see? <laughs> you can't see it because you weren't invited to Blue Sky. That's the problem. See, you don't have an invite, so you're not allowed to see it. You need a Blue Sky membership to see it. So, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, I forgot. <coughs> forgot. Exclu exclusive. Very exclusive website. Very exclusive. But if you could see it, you'd know it was great. Alright, so we have to take care of all the bad guys. Otherwise, this, this wussy little orc man I'm staying right here, where it's safe. won't do anything. So let's go see what we can do. Should we kill him or should we try to try to talk our way out of this? Let's let, let, let's try words first. Oh there. Where do you think you're going? Celine's not going to like this one bit. <coughs> she wasn't to be disturbed. Oh, um Uh Lynch sent me up here. Lynch set you up here? Why? Did he send you to talk to Celine? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna help her out. What does she need assistance with? She has Ormil under her own watchful eye in his cabin. Something isn't right here. What happened to Lynch? Lynch? Oh, he died. He's died. He, he tripped on his own toes. Broke every single one of his foot bones. He's in big trouble. You? You bested Lynch? Wait, no, no, his toes! I always knew he was out of practice. Oh, well, I suppose it's up to me to do his job for him, as usual. No, no, no! He did it to himself! Oh! I just wanted to level up! Isaac! Edo deck is filthy! Dex, help, you dick! I really n wish I knew what I had to do... What I had to do to Gex's AI to make it so he will actually help me right away when I get into combat. I really wish I knew. Because I sure as hell don't. Welcome oh, I killed a second thief. This one was a dark elf named Minx. Minx isn't a dark elf name. Oh, code names, gotcha. Her leader is named Celine. Okay. Aboard the love boat. Oh, th th there you are. You know, I could have used your health a nice. second ago. Nice work, my ass. This is like the lamest orc I've ever seen. Doesn't even help. Doesn't even help. Okay, Gax. You should carry. Ooh, you should carry all this shit. Gax, Gacko. See, what all did I pick up? Uh. Last longsword. Was she carrying a bow? She was not, but she was carrying armor that we took from her. Let's give him that. Elven shield. No, I'm using the elven shield. Leather cures. Yep, there we go. Okay. I'll wait on the tavern deck until you clear the top deck. That's where the ship's wheel is located. Why, why didn't you put the wheel down here then? I await your return. If you There's return. No breeze, yet the sail is full. Programmers! Dex, you're being rude. Nope. Oh. Not there. There we go. Well, oh! What are you doing up here? They find the golden galleon yet? Ah, uh, 
Yeah, I'm awaiting orders. Orders? Celine didn't tell me about this, and I don't remember her taking on someone else to help us find the Golden Galleon. When did all this happen? Oh, yeah, that was, uh, uh you know, three days ago. Damn that woman. She promised a four-part split when we recovered the Golden Galleon. She never said anything about splitting it five ways. I know, isn't she fucked up? She said when we got back to the safe house in Breville, we would divide the loot after she fenced the damn thing. Yeah, she's a liar. Do Lynch and Minx know about this? Todd, give me the option to lie, Todd. I feel well believed that all of these dialogue options we're going through, no matter what we pick, they're gonna lead to combat. Because Todd didn't feel like branching the quest out. And that's disappointing. Like, I don't know how long this quest is. But even if we're like halfway through, I feel like it would be trivial to make the to, to have a non-violent way to end the quest. To trick th th this group of, of Dumbos into believing you're part of them. And to getting getting the boat back to shore. But Todd was busy. I don't know what he was doing. Well, since they're out of the way, if I kill you, that means Celine and I split the take two ways. This heist is getting better and better. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, invisible wall! Invisible wall! And you see it all. Poor Gex. Okay, hold on. There you are. God damn it! Those arrows are expensive, I'll have you know! Fuck. Ooh. Gex, do something! Why do I bring him with me? Why is he even coming on this quest? Why do I waste my time with him? I ran out of arrows already. My very expensive arrows. Alright. I've slain another thief. A large Nord named Wrath. He was guarding the boat. We're out there trying to find a gold galleon. I don't know what that means. Gax, get over here. Oop. Oh, need this. Isaac, the Lido deck is filthy. Some of my arrows come back. All right, Gax, take the shit. Hello there, my secret friend. Somebody's gotta do it. Um, let's see. He had the usual stuff, right? A sword and some leather armor. There it is. Alright! have five arrows left, let's make them count. Hey, the, uh... Top deck clear yet? Yeah, it's clear, you can go Sounds on. Sounds like the coast is clear, so I'll make my way up to the ship's wheel. But I'm not moving this hulk an inch until Ormil is safe. You didn't mention that before, Orc! Damn it. Be cautious. Their leader sounds dangerous. More dangerous than you. What have you done for me so far? Fuck. I get seasick. Hold the game still. X. X. X is not having a good time right now. Gamers, have you ever heard a joke about the, the James Cameron's Titanic. Because I never have. Okay, there you are. I just see it all. We gotta get off this boat before Gex. That really has a problem. There we go. How'd you oh. get in here? Um, there should be a third option where it doesn't matter. Because let's be honest, none of these are gonna matter. I took the key from Wrath. Roth? I told him Roth? to off the wheel and not talk to anybody. Who are you? Roth? Did they not have the word Wrath in Britain? Like, I don't understand what just happened. I'm here to join the gang. 
<laughs> we made a solemn pact not to let anyone else join the gang. I can remember it clearly, even though it was... Three months ago? What? Can no one in this gang keep things secret? No. I suppose you think you know why you've taken over the bloated float as well. Yeah, you're trying to find the Golden Galleon. How, how did you know about that? No matter. Once I've taken care of you, we'll scuttle the ship and be off to our safe house. No one will find us there. <laughs> you read it, Braville? Uh, again, you were surprised <laughs> with your knowledge of our operation. I suspect Lynch didn't check all the in rooms before we departed. You must have been hiding down there and made your way up here. How did you get past Minx, Roth, and Lynch? <laughs> they all did. Impossible. You defeated the three of them alone? I, I'm humbled by your skill. And fear that assaulting you would lead to my own quick demise. What? Please accept my surrender. Here's my blade. Please. No treasure is worth my life. The bloated float is yours. I'm... I am genuinely surprised. That after the brain-dead beginning of this quest that there actually was a dialogue based non-combat end to it genuinely surprised genuinely granted it was written like shit but still genuinely surprised oh i'm not allowed to steal things here hey twin tails the fuck is that thank goodness you arrived when you did i feared that i'd be thrown to the slaughterfish Okay, um, yeah, the, uh, Blackwater Brigands? If you get Selena safely locked up, I can tell you all I know. I won't feel safe until you do that. That's so. Uh... Hi, little lady. A pirate life for me. I'm your prisoner. Very enthusiastic I'm your prisoner. I've already surrendered. What more do you want? Wait, is she not following me? Okay, wh uh, where did fucking Crunk go? I need him to take Many care of the. Thanks. There we are. I'm thanks again for helping us. I, I needed you to take that. Uh, Come sail away. Come sail away. I, I need someone to, to to lock her up. Where is she? I'm your prisoner. Shut up. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. Hey, Celine. Now that she surrendered. Please escort her to the last room on the inn deck. We'll lock her in there until we arrive at port. Why did I need to get a direction from him? I could have done that. I've nothing more to say to you. Okay, there, now she's following us. Excuse me. Can we just throw her overboard? I get seasick. Hold the game still. Okay, where we put her? Ah, right here. Come on. I've nothing more to say to you. Okay, you stay in here now. Dex, get out of the way. Go on. Go on. You know, maybe that's not a good place to lock her up. Uh, in here? Oh. Oh, she just teleportaled in there. Okay, that's fine. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Okay, I did it. Now that Celine is locked up safely below, I think we can all breathe a little easier. I can't thank you enough. Ormal, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> <coughs> this isn't helping me with my breathing at all, but if it's helping you, that's great. Well, I'm afraid all of this was my fault. They hijacked the bloated float because of me. Business has been waning of late, so I invented a story. Tell me the story! I fashioned a tale about a golden galleon that the previous owner hid within this very vessel. It was to be a statuette made completely of gold. Where were you going to get the gold? At the time, the idea was quite clever, I thought. I figured the law would draw more curiosity seekers 
and adventurers looking for the treasure. But what could the harm be if while they were here, they bought a drink or two? But if you were financially troubled, quite a bit where are you going to get the, leaked the story? Where are you going to get the gold to make that well, statue? Obviously, I was mistaken. It was a terrible idea. I'm just glad that no innocents were hurt. I wouldn't want to have their blood on my hands. Yeah, about that Ormal. Anyway, Her entire gang is dead. Me. You better get below now and rest until we arrive safely at the Imperial City docks. Like, I slaughtered them like animals, uh... Please, go get some rest. Yes. I don't want to go through all his shit, but I don't think I'm allowed. Prepare to abandon ship. Okay, okay, wait, he's gone. Oh shit, okay, well, we'll have a poke around. No, nothing good. One for me, and one for me. Nothing here. Do the crown if you can do the time. Oh, hold on. Mage's Guild Charter? Come on! I'm sailing away. Man, this guy got no treasure. Alright. I think he said we have to go to Betty Bye. Alright. Excuse me, sir. I can't sleep with you in my room. Your... <clears throat> your lush... Your luscious pecs are just too distracting. <clears throat> Alright, she'll be back now. I have a message ah! from the Grey Fox. Fuck! How'd you even get on here?! Uh, what's the message? The Grey Fox has a task for you. Meet him at Helvia Cecia's house in Bruma. Okay, I guess. <clears throat> Are you still in there, Celine? Celine? I'm sure she's fine. It turns out that room, like you open the door, it just leads into the open sea. I don't know if I can help you, but I'll try. Please don't try to help me. Looks like you're the one who needs help. Oh, never mind, she's good. <coughs> Alright. You're awake. Good. I didn't want to disturb you. I suppose you're wondering what I did with Celine. Not really, to be honest. The authorities at the Imperial City took her off the ship as soon as we docked. I was also informed that there was a reward for her capture. Neat. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place, unless it's here, of course. Oh, don't worry, Ormel. Uh, believe me when I say I have no intentions of ever coming back here ever again. Farewell, my friend. Oh, that was a waste of everyone's time. Interesting. Go on. Mathrodol, please leave me alone. I had a heck of a, of a night. Gex? Gex what is you gonna oh. do when Gexy Mania runs wild on you? Gex is busy. Okay. Um. Now we did just get a new Thieves Guild quest, but I also want do want to go and see about this fucking unicorn. But let's let's get our shit prepared, get some more arrows, and see what we can do. Gex. Gex. God damn that guy. Can you spare a coin? I think you enjoyed that. I don't know what's wrong. There you go. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Remember how I was trying to loot all these steel cutlasses at the start of the game? And I never came back to them? Now it's like 40 gold. Yeah, I'm good. Bother me again, and you might. Well, get let's bungle in the jungle. Right, let's get to the market district. <clears throat> get our shit repaired, and uh, get ready to go hunt a unicorn. Let's see, I always get lost here. Market district, all the way on the other side. Okay, we got this. Nope. 
One more. I this one. Accessorize this. A handbag, some buttons, a bobble, a bow. All right. All right, that's got our shit together. Where's the blacksmith? There you are, jeez. You know, he's so short, so you just don't notice him. The best defense. Uh-huh. Prepare my shit. Let's see what we Alright. Now I'm not even gonna assume you have arrows. Let's find the arrowman. Slash and smash. Also somehow doubt they have arrows. Uh elegance, discount spells, staffs. Come on. Some place that might have Decent arrows for me. How are you today? Black Horse Courier. A fighting chance. Here we go. We'll probably have it. They definitely have it. Look at this shit. Go ahead. Jesus, you're old and fucking droopy. Only quality goods for sale here. Oh, you have a shit ton of elven arrows. Okay, let's see about haggling a bit. Elven arrows. Regular iron arrows. Go for the elven. A fine bargain for you. I don't like the tone of that voice. Tell your friends about me. Don't think I will. Farewell. I'm over encumbered from arrows. Wait, Blackwater Blade. What is this? Does twelve damage and absorbs fatigue. When did I get this? I mean, it's better than my, uh, my glass dagger, and it's loud. I guess I can take this. Now, where's those arrows? Ebony arrows. Not ebony. Elven. That's not what put me over. How am I so over-encumbered? Am I carrying something else I'm not aware of? I wish I could sort by what I might actually be able... I just scrolled by chat all the way up into heaven. Hold on. Okay. Can I sort by weight? Todd, not gonna lie, I'm impressed this is in the game. I really would not expect that. Anyway, Dremor a longsword. Two of them. Let's get rid of this. What can I do? Yeah, buy this for me. Dremor, weapons, I have it all. How may I help you? Let's haggle it a bit though. Oh, we're already haggled. Okay, no problem. You drive. That seems a fair price. A pleasure to serve you. All right. Check what else we got here. Looks like those were the heaviest things. The rest is just kind of whatever. I'm still pretty close to my encumbrance level here, but it's not that important. He's All right. You. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let me make sure I have my arrows equipped. Actually, if we're gonna hunt that fucker, then let's start with our... Where are they? Arrows of harm. So we can do some, some funny damage. Gex, where'd you get that hat? Okay, how do we get out of here? We wanna exit southly. In fact, we'll just go back the way we came from. That's going to be the best bet. Does anyone else think the arena here just looks like they kind of, like, plopped it down here? At the last minute, without any regards as to how it looks or how it fits in the rest of the city? Because it kind of looks like shit. Like, it kind of really looks like shit. <laughs> Okay, this way. Uh, leftward leapers of Temple District. This is a temple door. Oh. Get him out of here.
Hey, what's this? Mausoleum. Oh man. I want to break in. Lizards look great in hats. You have my ear, citizen. Alright, come on. <clears throat> I'm gonna get this fucking unicorn. I just thought, should I get some scrolls to summon things? But you know what? Fuck it. We'll be fine. We have Gex with us. Okay, let's make sure our quest is active. Go. Alright. Get moving. Got beat feet. Is weird how the compass is showing, like, up here when we're trying to go south? Really weird. When this level is over, I am selling this hat. The compass is all fucked up right now. <laughs> Never seen it this bad. In fact, I'm going the wrong way. We gotta cross the river. Am I jumping out of the water? <laughs> Not jumping out of the water. It felt like I was. I don't know what just happened. You here? There he is. Okay, the compass fixed itself. We're good. This helmet is gonna muss my hair. Time to go postal. It's who? Who's here? It's just a dog, Gex. Get over it. I need your help with this unicorn anyway. Alright, so we gotta try to get a sneak shot off on this fuck. That doesn't look like this a level is over, I am selling this hat. That doesn't look like a human. He's like all hunched over. What is that? Oh, it's just a guy holding an axe. And he's mad. Okay, hold on. Uh Axe in the chest for Scatman Crothers. Don't feel bad. Dude, what a dick. This guy's kind of an asshole. Oops, hold on. Oh god damn it! Fuck! Gex! Directly absorb that shot. That's not in the script. Oh, he's dead. Okay, I heard the music keep going and I was concerned. Mithril Curus, Mithril Gauntlets, Mithril Boots. Yes! Look out behind you! Brown, I found her hat. Oh! Okay. Gecko. Gex Gecko. Uh, let's see, what all did I pick up here? Wait, didn't he have an axe? Where the fuck did that go? That uh, doesn't matter. Okay, Mithril, Mithril. Oh. Where is that axe? Oh, there it is. Elephant Battle Axe. Meet Gex Gecko. Somebody... All right, let's re-equip our bunny arrows. Wait, no, don't give him to that. And back on the hunt. So, a long ass way to go. Ooh. There we go. Alright, alright. Now this fog is not going to help our hunt, like, at all. Maybe we should wait the fog out. But then it's going to be night. Ah, fuck it, we'll just keep going. 
Good kicks? Jesus. Not that big a deal. Stumble on a hill a bit. Oh, God damn it. Fine, I'll go up. I'll go up a less steep hill. Shit. Well, I think that just refills Man, health smells like ducks. or magic or something. Either way, it doesn't refill anything we need right now. How far are we? Pretty far still. And we're going past here, scene statue. So, yep. All right. We'll be there in just a few minutes. Then we take care of business. Somebody tell Jackie Brown I found her hat. But the thing is, I'm not gonna be able to get a good shot off on it in this fucking weather. I can't see anything. Let's wait it out a bit. Three. Still foggy. Four. Five. It's going to be foggy all day. Maybe it'll be a clear night. Maybe in the wee hours of the morning it'll be clear. Maybe first thing in the morning it'll be a beautiful day. Well, gamers, we successfully wasted like 12 hours of our life. 500 channels and still nothing on. All right, he should be like literally like right over this hill. If there's that minotaur we saw, so unicorn should be nearby. I actually kind of wonder if we should pull the minotaur first just to get him out of the way. Maybe we should. Paging Mr. Asner, Mr. Ed Asner. All right. in the chest for <clears throat> Scatman Crothers. Minotaur pulled. Gex, where is he? Going for our killing gecko. Let's get it up. Cut, stunt gecko. It's one less thing to worry about. Hit me, go on, hit me. That's only a flesh wound. Easy. Ow. It's a way you're hurting me. Whoa! Poor Gex. That looked like it hurt. It's holding an axe. What, what axe was that? I'm interested in your axe. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Elven Warhammer. All right. Gex. Gecko. Gex. Gecko. Another one for the stash. Somebody's gotta do it. All right. So now we need to get our first strike on this fucking unicorn. So let's see. Where is he? That's some mushrooms or a unicorn. I can't tell. I kind of want to get a hit on it where I'm far away enough that there's a chance of it not seeing me and retaliating. I think I see it. Oh, I hope I don't waste this arrow! Nice! Oh, it's fast! I forgot! Okay! We land all these enchanted arrows. Luckily, I'm wearing my performance fleet. Gex could really use your assistance here. Okay, there's all the enchanted ones. Arrow of Jinxing, Magica. Don't think we have to worry about it. it's Magica. Do I have any other enchanted arrows? I 
Nope. All right. My attack has no effect. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Elvin. He's magical. Oh boy. Okay. He operates under the same thing that like undead do, where we have to hit him with like silver shit or something. Okay. Do I have silver arrows? Please tell me I have silver arrows. I do. Okay. Who? Why are we killing this unicorn? Like, I haven't even seen any other unicorns. This seems like a rare creature. It belongs in a zoo. Lizards look great in hats. Rest in peace, majestic unicorn. A statue told me to murder you. I will take your horn, though. It's worth one gold septum, and it fortifies my health. Did it. All right. I'm sure this 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 god of a statue will exist. Eat the horn, despite here's seed. <laughs> After all the trouble we just went through, we probably shouldn't do that. Although that would be very funny. Yes, Santa. Make your offering. Did you taste its flesh and drink its blood? Ugh. Never waste the spoils of a kill. That's you gross. Pleased me, Hunter. Take my token and wear it well. Hereafter, take your prey and whisper my name. Your scene was impressed with my skill in hunting the unicorn. He rewarded me with the savior's hide. Okay, let's see what this does. Resist Mashika. Here, seen this isn't this isn't really that great. Like the armor I'm wearing right now is is pretty pretty ball, and this is kind of like uh. I mean, maybe if I'm fighting a mage or something, but well, Gex, that might have been a bit of a waste of time. Now, disenchant it to learn its properties. I don't. The only magic that Fargoth participates in is enchanted items. <clears throat> okay. Um. Interesting. Now, there's a lot of these, these these shrine quests that we just haven't done. Let's see what other shrines are laying around here? Lavicus Vile. Sanguine. Sanguine, my brother! Like, they really loved that word when they made this stinky game. Did I mention how much I love that you can't zoom out on this map? Isn't that just neat? Those might be the only two shrines you've discovered. But at least it doesn't just stick them all in the map when you start the game like some kind of butthole. Yeah, I think the rest of the shrines are undiscovered, so at some point we might have to poke around over here to see if we can't find more. Um, where was I going? Lizards look great in hats. I think we got a quest from the uh, the Thieves Guild. Let's see. Gray Fox. Right, right, right. Gray Fox. Let's see. Oh, not that one. The one that the Gray Fox gave. There we go. Mithrid will sub me out. Blah, blah, blah. Bruma. Okay, we gotta get the Bruma. Where is Bruma? Aiden all Bruma. Way up north. Okay, before we can get there, though, we need to either fast travel or we can go directly to, you know. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get to a town gate and then we're gonna fast travel. The best way to do this. We'll head south, and then we'll fast travel north. I'll just make sure I'm going in the correct direction. No, I'm generally... And I could be wrong, because, of course, I've never bothered to take a look at the Bethesda store. But I'm generally kind of surprised that there hasn't been any paid mods... 
paid official mods for Elder Scrolls or Fallout that just does stupid crossover content where it takes Elder Scrolls stuff and sticks it in Fallout, or vice versa. Because I feel like that would be easy money for Todd, Todd and his stinky little minions. Okay, almost there. <coughs> I mean, it's like I said, they they very well might have already done it. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't partake in in the paid mods. So to me, none of them exist. I have like silver arrows equipped. Let's not do that. Have some iron in there for now. We'll switch to something fancier if we need to. I always say the headdress makes the man. Wait, why'd I go in there? Okay, we're at the gate. Let's fast travel up to Bruma. God damn, eyes itchy. Why don't you put something in my eye? Because if you did, I'll find out. We'll have a problem. <coughs> okay, what did the quest say? Helvius Cessia in Bruma. All four paid mods is full of cross content. So like I said, I, I don't know. I never browsed it. The closest thing to browsing their mods was looking at the uh, Fallout 76 store. God, remember Fallout 76? Can't believe people still play that. Oh, you cold, Gex? Sure, it'll be fine. Let's see. Pavic is afternoon. Pavic is stinky. I have a good smack of a Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, what? Jagasta. Jagasta. You know what? I need to know what this Jagasta fellow is like. Don't look at me. to have my uh on a light my light of pip boy green there we go we got cold blood cold weather bad combination we'll be fine gex all right mm. Man, these people just love the the baron zaya book god damn I think of your books, idiot. Fuck you, nerd. I wanna lick it, but my tongue will get stuck. Wells, cheap wines, base. Come on, where's the good stuff? Yeah, there's a downstairs. Let's see. This is close to being worth stealing, but it's not. Oop. It's a little too overzealous there. Gamers, I just realized my wife went out and I have no idea where she went. <laughs> she didn't tell me where she was going. All I know is that she's not working today. Oh well, I'm streaming right now, who cares? Whoa, four gold! Take it! Tell me, does this outfit look dope or just dopey? 
Carrots and corn. Oh, what's this? Why is there a... What? Fuck. Secret training room, what? Hello. My nipples feel like snow peas. Make it warm, number one. Fuck is this? Who lives here? Do I want to be spoiled? No, it's not that important. I'm just like, what the fuck? I didn't. That hate to love on the next Ricky Lake. I just broke in here because the guy's name was funny. I want to glitch the fuck out of these punching bags so bad. Like, you have no idea. Ugh. Ah. Don't lick any flagpole. Ah, uh, sorry. I think there's something in my eye. It's bugging me. Ugh. 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 Pretty sure I can get a robe here. Now, whatever happens with Starfield, I genuinely hope. Blood, weather, bad I genuinely hope that um, Todd still hasn't worked out physics in high frame rates because uh, I would sorely miss this. Hand to hand increased. I'm gonna poke around, but, Ain't it? but if I don't find the robe, uh, I guess it's no big deal. Cause I didn't know it was here. Oh, hello, Gex. Leather curious, leather gauntlet, silly books, locked keg. <laughs> Found it. Black hand hood. Black hand robe. How does this compare to what I have now? Let's see. Right now, what am I wearing? Shrouded Hood has an armor rating of 1, and it fortifies all this shit by 2. Sneak, Illusion, Marksman, Blade, blah, blah, blah. Black Hand. By 4. So this is better. What about this robe? Is this armor? This might not be armor. It has an armor rating of 4. This is just clothing. So yeah, that's just clothing. We don't we don't want that. Wait a second. Oh, you know what? That hood is not armor. The one up there. Okay. So the only okay, the difference is that armor. Well, I mean like Fargoth is so fucking squishy, I would never have a reason to wear this. I kind of need the armor. Alright, it's cool that I found it and everything, but yeah, without the armor rating, it's not much use to me in an everyday world. Let's get out of here. Alright, uh, who are we looking for? Clafagus Vile or something? Does this house have a door? Oh, it's part of it. Never mind. <laughs> it's his house. Han, Good my news from fell down. for a change. The last of the Daedra have been driven out. Good. Wait, is this it? Take care. Yeah, Helvick is the crop of the crumbs house. Oh, wait, wait. I was just about to start stealing shit. I forgot I'm here on a Thieves Guild quest. Okay, 
Let's see. This place is colder than Eva Gabor's wig fridge. Oh, oh. Come, we must talk. Wow. If that's not the most threatening looking human being on earth, I don't know who is. Well, regardless of who is, that's two hours of oblivion. Right there. So that means. When is Grace Jones gonna retire? So that means it's time for us to put the video games away and start working on um, our click and play game, our Windows 98 click and play game. So let me go ahead and. Uh, already saved. Let's quit out here. Ah, my eye is bothering me. You know, it was the weirdest thing yesterday. Um, when I was streaming yesterday, at one point, you know, something got in my eye, and I, I mentioned it out loud. But it was like, um, I don't know, like it teared. But the thing is, I'm not actually sure if something got in my eye. Because I didn't feel something enter my eye. I just felt a tear come out of my eye. Then at the end of the stream, as I was wrapping things up, suddenly another tear came out of my eye again, for no reason. And now today my eye itches. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. No idea. But anyway. Anyway, um, I'm going to go take a quick five minute break. By that, I mean I'm going to take a minute to piss and then spend four minutes hooking up my... Um, Hooking up my uh, my ThinkPad so we can get to work on our game. So sit tight, give me a few minutes. I'll be right back. And I'm just noticing my haircut. My haircut. I look really fat. Got to do something about that. Anyway, sit tight. I I almost clicked the stop streaming button. <laughs> Okay, okay, shut up, sit tight, shut up, stupid. 